Hello, my fellow graduates of 2015. Today is a great day for you, for you and me. We made it. After a long two or four years, our hard work has paid off. Looking out to all you today, I can see the future of the world. I also see the faces of many proud parents that look so happy. For many of us, our questions today might be, now what? For those graduating with their bachelor's degree, your questions might be, when did I get this old? <laughs> From here, many of us know or claim to know what step they're going to take next. But I can tell you, life is full of surprises. Who knows? Today you might be graduating with your diploma in one field, but tomorrow you might be doing something completely different. This is why sometimes in life you just have to improvise. A comedy to talk show host, Stephen Colbert, once said, life is an improvisation. You have no idea what's going to hap happen next, and you are just making things up as you go along. To me, this quote is saying that we should just go with the flow of life. Or rather, life is full of surprises to challenge you and to learn from. To be honest, I never imagined I'd be speaking in front of you today. After graduating high school, I did not have a, I didn't know what I really wanted to do next. Coming to Dean was probably one of the best choices I ever made. By coming to Dean, I become a better advocate for myself and developed a worth ethic I could find no place else. Dean has molded me in many ways. Being a student athlete and being someone, in, being someone who has struggled with school, Dean has pushed me to succeed. Not only has Dean helped me be successful academically, but also I have learned so much more about myself. I am sure many of you discovered this, the same thing. I remember coming into Dean as a freshman, and then when I look back, I shake my head. I was a scared little freshman who just wanted to fit in. I am sure many of you felt being in a new environment, knowing no one, was probably one of the scariest things. But it all changed. We grew up. College is about learning from new experiences and adapting along the way, meeting new people, learning to rely on oneself, and learning new things like printers only break down when you desperately need them, or that Woodward isn't a pretty convenient spot on campus when there's over 50 inches of snow on the ground. <laughs> and you soon discover you can memorize your student ID number from ordering Domino's more than once a week. Since we've been at Dean, many of us had learned these lessons and more. For example, going to class is important, along with getting to know your professors, because they're a great source of support. When I reflect on how far I've come as a person, my mind immediately goes to my mom, who lost her battle to cancer in August. She was an inspiration to many others and me. She lived her life fully, knowing her diagnosis would end her life early. My mom taught me to recognize how fortunate we are despite our struggles. We forget at times a bad day isn't a bad life. The lessons that I've learned from my mom were reinforced during my time here at Dean. All of us have learned important lessons during these last two or four years. Since we've been at Dean, we probably made a wrong decision or two, yet we've learned that a wrong decision is not always wrong. The mistakes we make in life help us find the person we truly are and the choices that are good for us. Everyone makes mistakes, has struggles, and even regrets. We are not our mistakes or our struggles. Instead, we are here having learned lessons which gave us the power to shape our next step for the future. We've learned a lot of lessons to help us understand life, to help us figure out who we are, to help to learn our passions both in and outside the classroom. These lessons often translate into advice. To me, advice comes from the stories that are told by people with experience. Advice is a way to reach into the past, to learn from our struggles, and to challenge challenges and to guide us in the right direction. As a person with many experiences, I hope you indulge me as I share some advice with you. Just try it. As young adults now, it is the time to take risks. When you feel like you are too nervous to do something, just do it. If you don't, one day you'll look back and think, why didn't I just try it? Make mistakes. How else are you going to learn? Be grateful. Every day I wake up and appreciate what's most special to you. Be courageous. Enjoy who you are. You are never going to be anyone else. We all have something to offer to the world. Be cautious. You are only young for so long. Be nice to your body. You'll miss it when it doesn't work like it used to. <laughs> be patient. Your accomplishments throughout your life will lead you to a career or two. Don't worry, you will get there. Just be patient. There are 45 year olds that still don't know. Find your thunder buddies. Surround yourself with people who are loyal, caring, supportive, and encouraging. People who challenge you to be your best. Explore. There's a lot more out there in the world than what Kim Kardashian is wearing. <laughs> Remember, who knows? You have one family, so try to call home. Who knows? That comment ended with a couple dollars in your bank account. <laughs> and lastly, never give up. When you feel like you want to give up, remember why you started in the first place. As I shared at the beginning of my speech, Stephen Colbert said, life is an improvisation. You have no idea what's going to happen next. I never imagined I'd be standing in front of you today speaking and sharing my advice 
finally telling you how proud you should be at this moment. For once in my life, I decided to just try it, and look what happened. I hope you all can go out in the world and just try it too. Congratulations, class of 2015.